Chia. What's good? What's good, people? This your man on the line, Bill Money, checking back in with another video. Happy New Year's to everyone within the sound of my voice. I hope this new year finds you in good health, good spirits, safe and prosperous for the new year. Thanks for tuning in to Streets Gotta Eat. Checking in with another video, we're going to talk about the rapper Lil Xan. Recently, Lil Xan took to Twitter, um, dropped a video in which he accused his former manager, the rapper Stat Quo, uh, former Shady Record alumnus, of supplying him with drugs whilst he was on tour, suffering withdrawals. Um, but before we get into this, um, do me a favor and smash that like button for me. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if it's not too much trouble, I'll share this video out to your social media and give it a tweet or post to one of your Facebook pages. Thank you. So I'm going to post this video. I'm not going to talk long, but this is what happens when the music stops. And when you cool off and you look around and you know things uh, might not be working out how you envisioned them um, to work out so Lil Xan is um, sober now um, and he's going in um, accusing his former manager of manipulation and of supplying him with drugs while he was on tour now Lil Xan would be on tour and in some instances, he was unable to perform um, due to withdrawals, um, due to um, needing whatever drugs um, he fancied at the time. Now, Stat Quo was familiar with who all his plugs were. Um, no doubt, Stat Quo learned of the plugs from Lil Xan. Um, Stat Quo would in turn after being contacted by Lil Xan or somebody on the team, he would place a call uh, to the plug, wire some money, and get the drug sent to Lil Xan so he could get straight and get to performing. So, um, yeah, he's basically snitching and alleging that he's going to file a suit and um, actually take that quote to court um, about this whole situation. Um, he did come back later in a later post and try to clean it up and I did see a post that I think I, I post uh, Instagram post from Royce to 59 who labeled Lil Xan hip hop's first Karen uh, so I'll go ahead and post that as well so I'm going to go ahead and show the video of uh, Lil Xan snitching and yeah, hop down in the comment section let me know what you think uh, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. It's your man online, Bill Money, signing off. Oh no, okay. Yo, I never go live on here anymore. How's everybody doing? Got my little healthy juice. Yo, I just want everybody in the live to uh, let me know. Don't I look a lot healthier, right? This is Sober Diego. I don't even want to call myself Zan no more because of the bad stigma that comes with it. This is Sober Zen. Look, got weight to me. Not so skinny anymore, you know. And I just wanted to bring up a topic. Do you guys remember the whole little peep, uh, the story where his uh, management was giving him drugs and, uh, and, you know, and it just wasn't helping out and all that? Well, that happened to me 
on tour. And uh, his name, my manager's name, well, I don't even like to call him my manager anymore. Uh, Stat Quo. Remember that name, Stat Quo. Because when I was on tour through 2007, no, 2018 to 2000, uh, whatever, the world tours with uh, Nikki and Juice and all that. Um, I was a drug addict back then, right? And um, and my manager was supplying me with the drugs. He knew all my plugs. So if I couldn't perform because I was withdrawing back then, because yes, I used to be a drug addict. Um, you know, he would call, make calls, send five thousand dollars out here, five thousand dollars out here, just to ship the drugs to wherever we we're at in the world, Switzerland or anywhere in America. And he's gonna act like uh, he didn't do that, like a fucking hypocrite. And uh, I'm really feeling like I should take him to court, right? Because that I, that was the time I almost died from the drugs. I was so skinny, unhealthy. Um, yeah, but his name is Stat Quo. I'll even fucking pin this right here. Uh, yes, yeah, Stat Quo. Also, he took my car away too. That I uh, that I paid that the majority of the money. How ironic! Peeps my uh, fucking uh, cover too. And now he wants thirty thousand uh, dollars of the remaining money to pay it off, which I paid literally. It's all my money in the car, and he won't give it to me. Um, and that's not even the real reason. I almost died on tour multiple times from him supplying me drugs. Anytime I needed it because I couldn't perform if I was withdrawing and I, I've always wanted to make this case known He is a terrible fucking human being um, You know He even had a doctor that gave him prescription and, Yeah, yeah uh, You know, it's, it just sucks, you know, the industry just sucks And that's a big reason why I haven't dropped another album Is because it put such a bad taste after I got after I got sober, it put such a bad taste in my mouth, like, to even want to make music, knowing how fucked the industry is. They just want to keep you alive long enough to make their fucking money, and if you die, even better, even better for them, because guess what? It's easier to manage a dead artist than an alive one. And that's what sucks about the Juice World situation, is because Juice was one of the most talented fucking people, and now they have his whole catalog of music that did. And who knows if that's even what Juice's vision was? Like, you know what I mean? Shout out to Juice, one of the most amazing artists. Shout out X. X didn't die, obviously, from uh, drug-related issues, but um, you know, it's just it's just the same shit. They don't care about us artists, and that's why it's hard. And almost traumatizing to make music at this point. And that's why I'm trying to find my love again for it. You guys can tell that I am sober. I don't look skinny anymore. I've gained weight. Like, the, the way I present myself. And, but yeah, stat quo. Stat quo, lawyer up. Because seriously, I'm coming for you, bro. I'm literally coming for you. That's fucked up. It's really fucked up what you did to me, man really it really is and then and then when when he felt that i was useless to him moved me way out an hour away to a city called corona california just not to deal with me anymore and the, and that's when the drug problem got even worse because i felt depressed that i was so far away from la and it, it just spiraled out of control he was supplying me drugs throughout every one of those tours because he knew that I couldn't perform if I was withdrawn. That is illegal and fucked up. And stat, please, get your lawyers together. My lawyers will be in contact with you. And give me my fucking car back. It's all my money put into the fucking car. And you want the rest of the 30K? Are you kidding me? And his excuse is, yo, I don't have a license. I do have a license. It's suspended. But like... I want my fucking car back. Jesus Christ, bro. I never wanted to go public about this, but I had a very, very uh, interesting convo with him on the phone right now. 
where he was just non-stop yelling at me saying, I didn't sell you drugs. We have screenshots. My homies kept those screenshots because they knew that one day this was going to happen. You know, and, and, and also in case if I died. So, uh, yeah, fuck you, Stat. Uh, fuck you, CI, CIU Records. Whatever the fuck your uh, stupid record label name is. And, uh, yeah, I was the only artist that you ever had, uh, that ever made anything of himself. I don't know who else you have, but, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, they're not making waves. But anyways, uh, I guess I'll take some questions now. Um, yeah, fuck stat, definitely fuck stat. Um, that's also his at, too, so if you want to go, uh, spam him, report him. Maybe get his account deleted. He's already facing other criminal charges too. Um, yeah, I won't get into that. But he already, he already is too. Um, but I'll be the bigger man in that sense and won't say why he's facing criminal charges. Um, remember the video where your manager stole your phone? That actually wasn't my manager. That was my security guard on the phone with Stat telling him to get off live and uh stat had my security uh security guard pull the phone off me but that was when i was a drug addict too um so you know but i've been sober for about four months now and i feel really good i mean you could even see it in my fucking eyes like i'm not slurring my words it just sucks and that's the real fucking reason that I lost my love for music and that's why I'm just starting to drop new music some of the best music some of the best uh, music uh, that I feel like I've been dropping too um, yeah so basically stat quo I'm gonna take you to court because you almost lost me my life on tour you could have got me help and I know you 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 want to say you did but you, you never did. You never did. We asked for help. He said you could never get help. Yo, guys, I'm talking. But, um, yeah. You know. I Yo, yeah, I smoke weed occasionally here and there. Um, but that's about it. I'm trying to see all the comments, guys. My bad. Thank, thank you, WCA Jesse. Appreciate you. But, but also, and I just want to end on this. Thank you to the fans that are still here rocking with me today. Without you guys, I would be nothing. I love the fans. I love the Xanarchy fandom. Xanarchy is going to come back stronger than ever. Um, Heartbreak Soldier forever. Love you guys so much. Um, you guys being the world to me and uh, yeah I just had to bring that uh, to light because I was tired of uh, I was actually afraid you know to be like blackballed from the industry for saying this but at this point I really don't care I almost lost my life many times he would literally call up my plugs and we'd spend five thousand dollars to get them shipped wherever we're at get a little box pills okay He'd hand them to me. Now you can go perform, right? You're not withdrawing. It's fucked up, bro. This happens too many times. Pete, me. Bunch of, bunch of motherfuckers, man. It's crazy, dog. It's fucking crazy. How, how the industry just doesn't care. They just want you to pump out hit records. And when, uh, when you're useless to them, just leave you in the dirt. You know? And that's exactly what Stack Quo did. Stat quo, stat quo, stat quo. Remember that name. Horrible person in the industry. Never signed to him. Um, yeah. But thank God I'm still here. Um, like I said, and thank you to the fans that are still here. You guys mean the world to me. Um, and I hope you guys had um, a great Christmas and uh, and uh, New well, it's not New Year's yet. Yeah, well, I hope you guys have a, a good New Year's coming up, too. Um, just had to get that off, because uh, I just had a phone call with him. 
and uh, it was just non-stop bro his way of arguing is you me not uh getting a word in and him just yelling um you know so yeah so yeah if you want to go to his page fucking report it he's a horrible person uh spam it comments stack quote literally all it is um yeah Hey, everybody's saying, tell your mom uh, that, that they love you. Oh, I love them too. Yeah, my mom said she loves you guys, man. Yeah, but much love, guys. I think I'm going to end it here. I'm, I'm going to start doing more lives about the whole situation. Um, yeah, love you guys. Happy holidays. I don't even know how to end See, I'm so bad at this. How do I even end this? This one, right?